What is going on YouTube family? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be working on my 2004 Subaru STI once again. What we're doing today, replacing a CV axle boot and also gonna be replacing both boots on the steering rack. All three of those are torn and I want to get them all replaced to make this car 100% perfect. This is what the car is currently looking like, a complete disaster. We are in the middle of powder coating brakes for the car, but I ended up getting the wrong powder so we are waiting for the new powder to come in. I figured in the meantime, it's gonna be a perfect time to replace the CV axle boot and the steering rack boots. This car is so dirty, so disgusting. I can't wait to get this thing back on the ground and out of the shop. Hopefully the powder comes in for those Brembo's pretty soon. So the CV boot we need to replace is the passenger side inner boot that is completely torn and it's flinging grease. The first one I'm gonna be working on is this driver side steering rack boot. And how I'm gonna do that is pull this nut right here off the tie rod, get the tie rod off the knuckle, and then you can pull the tie rod end off and then we should be able to unclamp the boot from the steering rack and slide the boot off and get the new one on there. I don't think there's supposed to be grease or anything in there. I guess we'll see when you take it all apart. I think that is just more of like a dust boot. Then again, I'm not exactly sure because I've never done this before. Looks like this nut right here is a 19 millimeter, but you got to pull the cotter pin out of there first. So as you saw, all you have to do to get this tie rod out of the knuckle is to bash on that knuckle with the hammer and the shock will drop the tie rod down and up. Next up is removing the tie rod from the steering rack. So there's a 19 millimeter lock nut right here. Loosen that nut up and you should be able to thread the tie rod all the way off. Next up, we have two 10 millimeter bolts on that little clamp or the little plate right there. Pull those bolts off and then there'll be two clamps on the boot. Pop those boots off and we should be able to slide the boot off of the steering rack. So that is how it looks with no boot on there. It does look like there's just some grease in there, no oil or anything. So I'm gonna throw a little bit more grease in there along with the new boot. That inner clamp, I'm going to try to reuse as well as the outer clamp. They did supply just some zip ties with the new boot, but I'd rather have nice metal clamps on there. This is what the inner clamp looks like. It's kind of like a CV axle boot clamp. It's the same exact thing. I went to Napa and I tried to get a replacement one of these and they don't carry them. So I'm gonna try to figure out how to just loosen this one up a little bit and then reclamp it on there. Here's the new boot, just an OEM replacement made by EMPI. Uh, so I have two of the boots and then one CV axle boot, which comes with the, all the grease and whatnot. I'll have these linked down below if you guys wanna do this on your own car. They're relatively cheap. I think the boots were like 15 or so a piece and this was like 20 or 25. Let's see what we can figure out. Hopefully I can reuse that inner clamp. I'm gonna grab some grease, throw a bit more grease on that steering rack and hopefully it's all good to go. Both of these steering rack boots are done. I did end up having to use just the zip ties on the boots, which should honestly hold on fine. Next up is this CV axle. So how you pull the CV axle out, there's a giant nut on the end here. I forget what size it is. I'll let you guys know in a second. And then we are going to take off these two bolts right here, holding the hub to the strut.
Now to get the CV axle removed from the transmission, there is a little pin right there that is going through the CV axle in the tranny stub. We're gonna have to pop that out and then as soon as that is out, the CV axle will slide out. Okay, CV axle's out. Let's go ahead and get this torn up boot replaced. There's just this little circuit right here that you pop out and then it should separate just like that. Now on the very end of the CV axle shaft, there is a circlip we are gonna have to remove and then we will be able to get that little hub assembly off of there, slide the old boot off and get the new boot on. Now grab the bag of grease they supply and literally pack the crap out of that boot with the new grease. If you want, you can clean up all the old grease, but I'm not going to, I'm just skip that and just put all the new grease inside this boot. Now we just need to get our new clamps on this boot. So how they work, there are little hooks. You'll hook it like that or wherever you need and then grab these CV axle boot clampers and you'll just crimp that together. CV axle is done, ready to go back on the car. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and then we can slap the car back together. The CV axle's on, we are all good to go guys. Remember, anytime you mess with anything suspension related or steering related, you, knew, you do need to get an alignment. So remember, if you swap out your steering rack boots, make sure you go get an alignment afterwards. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember those boots I just installed on that car will be linked down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.